Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we are going to do a crossword puzzle and we're going to guess another 15 Spanish words related to traveling. I know right now we can't travel that much, but I think it's a good idea to refresh all that knowledge that we have about Spanish, especially if we're talking about traveling, which today we will talk about it and we will try to guess 15 words. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And you can download this crossword on smlessons.com slash games. You can find the link down below in the video description down below. And um, it's free you can download this for free so that is great okay so i see some people already on the chat hello dory hello Kay. hola nate how are you welcome i'm glad you're here are you guys ready to do this crossword puzzle <laughs> last time Marcos Barrera won the crossword puzzle. He guessed the most. Um, and today we will see. We'll see if Marcos shows up. Yeah, I, I see. I see Marcos. Hello. Hello, Marcos. <laughs> and also, hopefully, Anthony can join us as well. <laughs> Okay, so welcome, everybody, welcome. And today, as I was saying, we are going to guess 15 words related to traveling. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. That supports this channel a lot. It helps me a lot. And okay, let's do this. So I'm going to choose the first word and then from there you know how it works whoever guesses the word correctly that person needs to tell us the next word okay on the crossword puzzle okay so let's see let's do a short word okay something easy something really easy let's do five across Five across. So that one is right here. Five across. And most of the words are nouns. So keep that in mind. And the definition of this noun is a dia diagrammatic. No. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Um, a, a diagram. <laughs> oh my God this word a di diagrammatic a diagrammatic sorry a, a diagrammatic representation of an area of land or sea showing physical features cities roads etc sorry about that <laughs> yes marcos marcos has the answer we're talking about Mapa, mapa, okay? So that is the first word, mapa. This means map, okay? And Marcos gets the first point. Oh, one point. <laughs> okay, great. Now, Marcos, can you please tell us the next word or the next, uh, the the other number that you want. Okay, six down. Six down. This is another noun. And that word is 
right here. It's a very long one, okay? That's a long word. Okay, so the definition of this noun is an official document issued by a government certifying the holder's identity and citizenship and entitling entitling them to travel under its protection to and from foreign countries. Okay, so we're talking about a document and it's a very common document. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay, Beck, that is the answer. Pasaporte, pasaporte. Okay, so let's reveal the word. Pasaporte, pasaporte. And that means passport, okay? So K gets the first, well, gets a point. K gets one point. Yes, that means passport, okay? Now, K, which word would you like to guess next? Okay, K says one across. One across. That one is right here, okay? So that one has seven letters. It's a medium, medium sized word. And this is actually another noun. And the definition is a piece of paper or a small card that gives the holder a certain right, especially to enter a place travel by public transport or participate in an event. Well, you should, we're talking about traveling here. So yeah, you need this to travel to places and you can purchase them. You can purchase them online. Um, usually nowadays you can purchase this online. And if you wanna travel, you need this. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's something similar to that, Dory. But it's we're not talking about money. We're talking about some piece of paper that you purchase. Sometimes you need to print it out in order to board a plane or something like that. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's a piece of paper or a small card. Usually it's just a piece of paper that gives the holder a certain right, especially to travel in this situation. It's not tarjeta. We're not talking about a tarjeta. It's not, it's, you're close Chan Chanel. You're very, very close. The spelling is a little wrong. And we're talking, if you can mention, yes, that's correct. I forgot to mention this is a plural, uh, plural version of this noun, but I'm gonna have to give the point to Chanel. Uh, boleto, that boleto, that's the word that we're looking for. Boleto, boleto, perfect. Okay, so let's give the point to Chanel. And uh, first of all, I'm gonna reveal the word boletos, boletos. That's the plural form, okay? Boleto means ticket and boletos, tickets, okay? So Chanel gets a point. Perfect. Okay, Chanel, can you let us know which word you would like to guess next? We have two down, 
3 across, 10 down, 11 across, 7 down. <laughs> Four down, okay, four down. That word is a short one and it's right here. Okay, so four down, four down, let's find it. This is another noun. And the definition is a car used to convey passengers in return for payment of a fare. So it's a car that you can use. You don't drive it, but you can. It's a, a way to, to go to places. Usually after you arrive at an airport, you, you use this. So do you know what I'm talking about? They're, they're yellow too, by the way. That's a good tip. I mean, yeah. It's yellow. Uh, yeah. That's correct. Marcos has the answer and we're talking about a taxi. Taxi. Taxi in Spanish is taxi, so that's that's pretty cool. You don't have to learn a new word because it's pretty much the same word in English and in Spanish, taxi. Okay, so Marcus gets the point. Okay, perfect. Now, Marcus, tell us which one is next. Tan down. Okay, tan down, right here. Tan down, tan down. This word has only five letters and it is also a noun, okay? So, let's see. <sighs> okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Marcos, it's the same. Taxi is taxi. <laughs> taxi is taxi. <laughs> okay, so the definition of 10 down, this is a noun again, and the definition is an act of flying, a journey made through the air or in space, usually through the air. We're talking through the air right now, especially a scheduled scheduled journey made by an airline so how do you call this in spanish when you fly you know and it's a noun too remember an act of flying a journey journey made through the air especially a scheduled journey made by an airline It's similar, Chanel. Yeah, K has the right answer. We are talking about vuelo. Vuelo. Mm -hmm. Vuelo means flight. Okay, vuelo, el vuelo, the flight. Okay, and K gets the point. Awesome, wow, okay. <laughs> Okay, vuelo means flight. Now, Kay, please tell us the next word. Or which one would you like to, to do? 14 across. Okay, so that word is right here. It's a long word. Let's see the definition. Okay, so 14 across, that one has three, six, seven, eight, eight letters. And the definition is personal belongings packed in suitcases for traveling. Okay, so this is a noun 
and per, it's personal belongings packed in suitcases for traveling. How do you call this in Spanish? Mm-hmm. Hello, Frank. Yes, you are correct. That is the word. Equipaje. Equipaje. Perfect. Equipaje. Awesome. Yeah, so Frank gets a point. Frank, one point. Yes, equipaje. Equipaje means baggage, okay? Or luggage. Yes, that's correct. Okay, Frank, please tell us a number. We have 11 across, 3 across, 2 down, 7 down. 2 down is very long. Wow, oh my goodness. Yeah, and 3 across as well. So, Frank, please choose a, a number. Okay, two across, two across. Oh, two across? I think it's two down. We don't have two across. Okay, let's do two down. Yeah, two down, two across. <laughs> we don't have two across, but <laughs> we can do two down. <laughs> Okay, two down, I guess. We have 12 across. Okay, okay. Seven down, seven down. Seven down. Okay, so this is a verb. Okay, we're gonna talk about a verb. And the, actually, Hang on, hang on. Seven down is... It's not a verb. I see that seven down is actually a noun. So, this is something that Okay, it's okay. I got it. I got it. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're talking about a noun and the definition is an extended period of leisure and recreation, especially one spent away from home or in traveling. So this is some period of time that you use for recreation uh, away from home, usually you have to um, to take some days off from work. Yes, K. K gets that really, really fast. Okay, yes, we're talking about vacación. Vacación. Okay, so vacación means vacation <laughs> okay so k gets the point three total three points for k marcos has two points chanel one frank one yes that's correct you can also call this vacaciones vacaciones um s k j jauata you're right but you can also call this vacacion, vacacion, vacation. Okay, so K says two down. Okay, so that is a long word. Two down. This one has three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, two down. 
Okay, this is a noun and the definition is a person born in or coming from a country other than one's own. Okay, so it's a person born. How do you call a person who is born in or coming from a country other than one's own? Okay, so do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so we're talking about a person. How do you call a person? Yes, Frank is... Yes. Frank was close, but Kay has the right answer. The answer is extranjero. Extranjero. Okay? And that means foreigner. Okay? So let's reveal the word extranjero. Okay, and who gets the point? K. K gets a point. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. So K is saying now three across. Three across. That one is right here. Oh, that's another long word. <laughs> okay, so okay, Frank, if you reload your browser, that sometimes helps, uh, but yeah, some there's some de delay usually. Yeah, just refresh your browser or reload the live stream and that helps. Okay, so three across. This is another noun. And the definition is a complex of runways and buildings for the takeoff landing. Takeoff landing and maintenance of civil civil aircraft which with facilities for passengers. Okay, again, a complex of runways and buildings for the takeoff landing and maintenance of civil aircraft with facilities for passengers. Okay, so that's what we are talking about. Uh, we're talking about a big place where you can find a lot of airplanes. Yes, okay. K has the answer. K Beck has the answer. The right answer is aeropuerto. Aeropuerto. And that means airport. Aeropuerto. Aeropuerto. Airport. That was pretty easy, right? Okay, so K gets the point. Five points total. K has... Five points total, Marcus two, Chanel one, Frank one. You can do it, guys. Okay, well done. That's that's great. Okay, so K is saying 11 across. Okay, 11 across. That one is right here. That one has only five letters, guys. So it's not a long word. And this is another noun, of course. And the definition is <laughs> an establishment providing accommodations, meals, and other services for travelers and tourists. Do you know how this, how is this called in Spanish? It's an establishment, usually a building providing accommodations, meals, and other service services for travelers and tourists. This is a very, very easy, easy word. Yes, hotel. We're talking about hotel, hotel. Perfect. Yeah, so K, K, K is fast. 
Very fast. That's correct. We're talking about hotel. And that means hotel. Same spelling. So this is another easy word to learn in Spanish. Hotel, hotel. It doesn't, it doesn't have an accent, Mark, Marcos. <laughs> okay. Now, K gets a point. K, K gets a point. Let's not forget that. <laughs> okay, six. Okay, K, please tell us the next number. Okay, eight down. Eight down. So that word. It's right here. That one has uh, five, five letters. Okay, so another medium size word. And we are talking about, guess what? Another noun. <laughs> okay. The definition is a powered flying vehicle with fixed wings and a, a weight greater than that of the air it displaces. So we're, we're talking about something very big and that can fly. I'm pretty sure you know the answer already. Chanel has the answer. The only thing is that we're missing an accent mark. We're missing an accent mark. So what we're gonna do we're going to give a point to Chanel and also a point to Marcus because Marcus has technically the right answer with the correct grammar, but Chanel was pretty, pretty close. So if that's okay with you guys, I'm going to give a point to Chanel and Marcos. Okay, so we're talking about avion, avion. A bion with an accent mark on top of the letter O, and that means airplane, okay? Airplane. Okay, so let's give the point to Chanel and a point for Marcos. Perfect, awesome. So either Chanel or Marcos, please let me know the next number. Yeah, I understand that, Chanel. I know it, it's tricky to to type in the accent mark and all of that. So that's why I gave the point, a point to you and Marcus. So Chanel, Marcus, which one next? That's fine, guys. If you can't, if you can't uh, put accent marks because of your keyboard or whatever, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I mean, I'm, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so nine down. Nine down. That is right here. Uh, hang on. Right here. Hello, Anthony. Welcome. Yes, you're a little late, <laughs> but that's fine. You can guess words. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, so nine down. Let's see the uh, definition. Okay, nine down is a noun and it has, it's a long word. It has three, six, seven, eight, eight letters. Oh boy. Okay. So this is a noun and the definition is a thing that is kept as a reminder of a person, place, or event. So usually you buy this from stores and sometimes it has uh, the name of the place or city or country and so on. Do you know how to say this in Spanish? It's a thing that is kept as a reminder of a person, place, or event. In this case, a place, because we're talking about traveling. Oh, 
Okay. Uh huh. Anthony, <laughs> you're right. You're right. We're talking about recuerdo. Recuerdo. That means souvenir. Okay. So let's reveal the answer. The right, the correct word. Recuerdo. Souvenir. And Anthony gets a point. Anthony gets a point. Awesome. Recuerdo. Momento. I know it sounds like memento, something like that, but uh, no. <laughs> In Spanish, we call it recuerdo. Recuerdo. Okay. Place tag. Mm, mm, I don't think we just call it recuerdo. <laughs> Yeah, that includes place tags and all of that, <laughs> Lynette. So, yeah. Okay, so Anthony says 12 across. 12 across. Okay, hang on. Is someone guessing the next word already? <gasps> Let me see. Yes, someone has guessed the next word, guys. <laughs> that is incredible. Yes. This one right here, S.K. Jota, sorry for butchering your name, but you have the right answer. We're talking about Destino. Good job. If you guys know already the next word, if you don't, you don't need me to tell you the definition, you can tell me, hey, this word is this, this one. You know, you can tell me. Um, that, that's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. Okay. So this destino is the right answer. Destino, destino. That means, do you know what it, what it means? It means destination. Okay. Destination. So, uh, I'm going to give the point to SK Jauta. Wow, okay. Good job. Good job, SK. <laughs> awesome. So, destino, destination. Okay, so SK is saying 13 down, 13 down. Okay, so that one is right here. Okay, so let's see. 13 down has only four letters. So that is a short, very short word. This is a noun and the definition is a series of railroad cars moved as a unit by a loco locomotive or by integral motors. Do you know what I'm talking about? So it's long, uh, it uses uh, I don't want to say, I don't want to be too obvious, but it's a, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> K, K has the answer. We're talking about tren, tren, train. Okay, so tren, tren, train. That's what it means. Train, tren, train. Okay, so K gets a point. And so far, K is winning. K is winning. So there's <laughs> there's only one word left. And uh, yeah, right? Yeah, just one word left. And this was pretty fast, guys. This was very, very fast. Okay, so... Seven across. Okay, seven across right here. Seven across. And someone, someone guessed. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're fast. <laughs> okay, someone guessed already the, <laughs> the word. 
Marcos. Marcos. Yes, that's correct. The last word is viajar. Viajar. Okay. Viajar means to travel. <laughs> that's that's a pretty pretty obvious word for this crossword. So yeah, viajar to travel. And let's give the point to Marcos. Okay. Okay. That was very fast. Oh my goodness. Okay. We can see, we can see who won the crossword and the winner is K Beck. K Beck, congratulations. You know Spanish. You should be proud of yourself. And also you guys, you guessed all of the all of the words that's amazing congratulations k beck for winning this crossword puzzle bravo bravo felicitaciones thank you all for being here for participating for telling me the words uh, it's so fun to do this and i'm so glad that i can interact with you guys that's that's amazing that's that's awesome. Okay, okay. Any words? <laughs> Muchas gracias. Well, thank you for participating, and you are the winner. Bravo, bravo. So that's it for today, guys. Do you guys have any questions about the words that we just learned? Um, any suggestions for? future crossword puzzles for future lessons all of that is welcome marco says these are really fun thanks sugar astronaut you're welcome marcos thank you for being here also lynette thank you for being here anthony nate frank thank you so much sk thank you for being here everyone Thank you, Dory. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Kay Beck says, happy to play today from England. Well, that's that's awesome that you're from England. That's great. Once again, thank you. <laughs> okay, that's it for today, guys. Remember to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I do this, you know, crosswords and, <laughs> and for more uh, free Spanish lessons. Also give this video a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. It helps this channel to grow. Please, please give us a like. Thank you so much. And um, gracias. Muchas gracias. And also, if you want to download this crossword puzzle, remember you can go to smlessons.com slash games and you can download this for free and previous crossword puzzles as well. So, and all of that is for free. I'm leaving a link to that also in the video description down below. And I hope you have a, a good week, a great week. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.